the skills to create your own bass line from chord progressions really puts you ahead of the game and means you're much more flexible at jam nights, gigs or rehearsals. Students often tell me that they clam up if they have to deviate away from the set bass line or they just don't know where to start if they're given a chord progression and told to come up with a bass line. So I thought I'd make a video to give you an insight into um, my approach to creating bass lines. So you need a few key concepts, you need a framework to build upon and then you can go wherever you want and really get your creative juices flowing. I've put all the bass lines I'm going to show you in this lesson on a PDF, you can get that for free. Just click the link below in the description, fill out the form, join my mailing list and I'll send you your free copy in standard notation and tab. Before you go any further, pause the video and subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. You can do that by pressing the red button on the corner of the screen. Let's get started. For this video lesson, I've picked a four bar chord progression. Now this chord progression has come from a project I've been working on recently. Um, so the music for that it just gives you bare root notes, the bare basics, and you're told to kind of create and elaborate on that bass line. So I thought it'd be good for this lesson. That's a kind of real life example where you have to use these skills that I'm gonna show you in the video lesson. And also it's a nice chord progression as well. The chords for this progression are C major nine, A minor 11, E minor 11, and G nine. Now you don't have to worry about the extensions on these calls, which are the ninths and the elevenths. Just focus on the call tones, which are the roots, the thirds, the fifths and the sevenths. And a quick bit of music theory. Ninth, eleventh and thirteenth chords all have a flat seventh as part of the chord. You just kind of take that, um, that it's always going to be in there. But if a uh, natural seventh is wanted, then there will be notated like the C chord as a major nine, for example, or a major eleven. So you know then that you use a natural seventh. So let's start with the root notes for this progression. Um, now they sound good. Um, played higher up on the bass, so we're going to start here with C here. Okay, then A, and then E, and then G. Okay, so it's in that kind of shape here. So that's um, fret 10, fret 7, fret 7, fret 10. Okay, so in this little kind of box shape. So we've got C, so you hold it for four um, beats. A, four beats, E, four beats, G, four beats, okay? And this is what it sounds like with the progression. Three, four. So what can we do to make this more interesting? Well, first of all, you need to kind of listen to the vibe and the feel of whatever song you're playing in. So for this backing track, it's quite a mellow track. Um, so you're not gonna do a busy slap line or rock eighth notes or anything like that. You're probably gonna to wanna to keep a bit of space in this bass line, where we can certainly elaborate on these root notes and come up with something that's a bit more interesting. First of all, let's add some pickup notes, okay? Now listen to this. I'm just gonna put a pickup note before each root note. You can pick lots of different options here for these pickup notes. Just play kind of what sounds good. Um, but if we're going from, so we're using C, B, A, okay, you could use C, you could use the fifth of A, okay, with the E, or you could use G to A, okay, so lots of options with these pickup notes, and just play what you think sounds good, okay, 
there's a kind of a few rules and regulations, but really just be guided by your ear. So um, it's quite nice. It lifts up these root notes a bit to put these pickup notes in. By the way, you can purchase this back in track. I created it for this lesson. Um, it's really good. You can use it to work with this progression and come up with your own bass lines and practice the bass lines that I go through in this lesson. So there's a link below, um, or you can head straight to the shop on my website, gbshed.com. Now I think the bass line could do with a bit more movement and a bit more groove. So let's add some extra notes in to give it some kind of rhythmic interest. Now I'm gonna add some fifths in. Fifths always work. Um, they kind of, pretty much in every situation a fifth's gonna work, so it's always good to use on a bass line. Um, so for the first bar. Okay, so we're doing C, the fifth is G. And then we're using these pickup notes that we're using before, B, A, okay? And we've got this kind of pattern. But, 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 but. And we're gonna do that for each bar, okay? And then A, the fifth below, pick up note, E, the fifth below, G, fifth below. Okay, have a listen to that with the backing track. Three, Enjoying this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel here on YouTube and um, you can click the red subscribe button and also if you click the bell and select all you'll get notified as soon as I release a new video. So now we've got a pretty nice bass line that I think suits the backing track um, but we can add a few embellishments okay I'm going to show you something over the four bars you wouldn't necessarily do it on repeat um, and loop these this kind of four bars, but you can put some of these ideas in to add some variation um, as you go through the song. Three, four. So the first thing I've done is add muted notes. Okay. Uh, before the fifth, we've got a muted note. So whatever string you're playing the fifth on, use a muted note on that string. Um, I've gone over muted notes a few times, but if you um, don't know how to do them, just rest your fingers lightly on the strings, okay? Make sure your highest finger isn't over a fret. You'll start to get harmonics, okay? So here, so, Okay, it's a fast muted note. One, two, and, and then, I'm just putting this extra um, hammer on here. So um, don't pluck the D, just hammer on with your finger. Okay, and pluck the C again. So that bar. And you kind of need to shift. You can start the sequence here, um, but if you're kind of looping it, you'll probably end up with your little finger on C, you need to shift to the first finger. And you can kind of slide down, that's quite nice to have a, hear a little bit of that slide. Okay, and then again, muted note before the fifth. Okay. And then down to E. Now, because you're playing the fifth on the E string, playing a muted note on the E. Okay, another hammer on. Okay, so that E minor 11 bar. Okay. Okay. So I think that's about as far as I'd go with this bass line. I think it suits the vibe of the, um, of the backing track. Um, and as I said, you wouldn't probably do these all these embellishments every time you play it through. You can just use them in certain places. So have a go through of that yourself. If you've got the backing track, then play it with the backing track.
Let's try something else now with the bass line. Um, this Jack Cassidy semi hollow body bass sounds really good with a pick, okay? I really like that kind of muted pick noise. Uh, so you're kind of slightly muting with your hand there. Uh, okay, um, so have a listen to me. I've come up with a different bass line, slightly different rhythm, um, some different notes, and I'm playing it with a pick and see what you think. Now just be aware when you're using a pick it doesn't blend into the mix the same way that fingerstyle does. Um, you can really hear um, the bass part with a pick. Um, so it's definitely a kind of musical choice and it's very different to fingerstyle but I actually think it's really nice as an option and really works with this backing track. So I'm kind of using a, a root fifth octave pattern um, but going up. So we're starting on C, starting a bit lower for this bass line. Okay, so that's kind of root, fifth, octave, another pickup note. Okay, so I'm doing a quick slide from A to B. Okay, that sounds really nice in the bass line. And then for E, root, fifth, octave down to G and that's a hammer on and then again same sort of pattern now I'm using that's similar to the other A11 bar A minor 11 bar but I'm just kind of changing the rhythm okay before it was Now it's okay, same notes but just different rhythm. So from the beginning of that second line, okay, so, so that's just um, the major pentatonic uh, for G. Okay, so when you're playing with a pick, um, you tend to kind of play different things. So that's quite a different bass line. I'm kind of um, doing, I suppose, more hammer-ons. Uh, and also this slide, this slide. And it sounds nice played up high as well with the pick. Well, hopefully that's given you an insight into how I start thinking about creating my own bass lines. Um, these concepts you can use for any styles. It's just important that you use your ear and you listen to what the other instruments are doing. And there's not that much in the backing track. You obviously got some piano, drum beat and strings, but it's enough to go on um, and to make sure that you slot in with like the drum groove and, and the rest of it. Okay. Um, so let me know in the comments which bass line you prefer. The first one with finger style or the second one with pick. Um, and also if you've got any other techniques, any ways um, of thinking that you use when you've got to come up with a baseline, then I'd love to hear that um, below in the comments as well. Please like and share this video, that really helps me. You can share it on all your socials. Um, and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that already. And if you felt that you got value out of this lesson, you can always buy me a coffee. The link's at the bottom of the screen or you can click links in the description. They're $5, you can pay by PayPal or by card. And that just keeps these kind of, um, these YouTube lessons and PDFs free. I've got loads more base content on my website, that's gbshed.com. I've got video courses, books, um, boot camps. You can buy these t-shirts, loads of other merch there. So that's gbshed.com. Go over there, you might find something you like. When you're downloading the PDF from the description, there's loads of other links there, uh, links to my backing tracks. Um, so take a look in the description as well. This is Greg from Greg Space Shed. Hopefully see you soon in the next video. Mm -hmm.